So one of the things that we wanted to change before we went on our next trip is we wanted to change out the water heater for a tankless water heater. Uh, oftentimes if we try and take showers back to back, there's just not enough water for, for all four of us to be able to get out the door. So uh, I just wanted to show you guys what it takes to swap out our six gallon water heater for a tankless water heater in our tra travel trailer. So as we swap out this water heater, we want to make sure that we are turning off our propane. We want to make sure that we are turning off our electrical. And we also want to make sure that our water is off and disconnected so that when we go to make our changes, we don't end up with a big mess or damaging something. Once we have everything turned off, we can go ahead and start disconnecting uh, the gas and the water and the electrical from the unit before we pull it out. Now, once that you've cut around the seal and you've gently pried evenly around to get it to pop out, uh, you want to go ahead and, and slide the unit, existing unit, out of its hole. After we have the unit out, we want to scrape away all the old sealer that's on the side and we want to use a solution to be able to clean the residue that's on the, the trailer. We want to measure our hole, make sure our opening is the proper size to fit in the new unit. Once you have the right size hole, uh, you can go ahead and slide the unit into place. Now, the one I have doesn't have a flange on the front, so we want to make it flush with the face of the trailer. And then we want to caulk around that gap before we go ahead and put the door as our seal on. So we position our door and once we get that put into place, we want to line up the holes on the door that match with the holes on the water heater. Go ahead and screw that into place. And then once you have that secured, we're going to go ahead and put the screws around on the outside to secure it to the, the trailer. Once you have that, you want to go ahead and put a bead of silicone all the way around so that you can seal it from any of the moisture and water from the outside. We want to go ahead and make our 12 volt electrical connections. You want to make sure that you connect the black to the ground and the red to the positive. And then we want to go ahead and connect our water hot and cold to the unit. And then we have our control panel to mount with the face plate back over it in an accessible place. And then we're able to turn it on and change the temperature to whatever we want. And then it's as easy as just turning on the hot water. And it's on and working. We've been using the new water heater now for about uh, two weeks. And we noticed that it's better to have a lower temperature on the water heater settings. So that when you're taking a shower, you don't have to add as much cold water to, to the system. Uh, if you don't have enough flow going through the water heater, it won't turn it on and then you won't have any hot water. So it's better to put your setting at closer to the water temperature that you're actually wanting rather than cranking it too high. It's not a big deal, you just want to be aware that that's how it works so that when you turn on your hot water, you won't have enough flow to turn the hot water on. It takes us about five seconds to get hot water to our shower. Uh, so it takes like a second for it to kick on and about four seconds for it to get there. So it's, it's really, uh, it's working out really well for us. So I'll post back, uh, maybe do a review on it in the future and uh, just let you guys know what we think of it long term. So till next time, we'll see you later.